In this video, I go over upgrading your kernel in Ubuntu 18.04. So as a disclaimer, upgrading your kernel manually in any distribution is not highly recommended um, unless you have a specific purpose of doing so. So 18.04 comes with 4.15 pre-installed. Now I have a Vega graphics card that is not well supported in it. I've loaded a PPA and manually updated those drivers, however it still kind of performs like crap for me. So in a move to make it more compatible, work a little bit better, I'm upgrading my kernel today. This is the first attempt at it, and I want to record it just so you guys could see the process of manually upgrading a kernel in Ubuntu. Okay, let's start out by going to the actual kernel repository that Ubuntu has. Now, we're not manually building the kernels today. We're using the packages that Canonical at Ubuntu.com supplies us. So, nothing too crazy here. Um, I'm going ahead and leaving the main link in the description below. And what you'll see, I'm going to go back one, is a listing of every kernel that Ubuntu's done in the past couple years. So with 14 4.19 that was when a lot of vega support really happened and really kind of cranked up and uh made it far more compatible uh but you know if you look back here when 18.04 was released um it was running on 4.15 and if you look the 4.15 was back in february of 2000 18. But there's been a lot of updates and a lot of advancements just between now and then. So I want to go ahead and move to the 4.19 and I'm going to look and go to the latest and greatest here um, that was last compiled in December 1st. So uh, literally just a couple days ago. So if uh, you probably don't want to go such bleeding edge as that, so you might want to just go 4.19 down here and just stay in this realm. But for today's video, I kind of feel like uh, living a little dangerous here and going with the absolute latest. So we're gonna go 4.19.6, and, and we first need to pick out our packages. So if you look here, um, I'm running an, a 64-bit system, and you probably are too. Um, ARM and PPC and all these other ones here, you know, probably can safely ignore probably more than 90% of you out there are running a 64-bit kernel. So what we need is this guy right here, uh, the dash all Debian. And we also need the generic right here. And we're gonna go ahead and grab the unsigned generic. And then the Linux modules generic. Now notice I skipped over all the low latencies. From everything I've read and gathered from white papers and internet articles, um, most people don't use low latency and pretty much everybody sticks with generic, so I'm not going to rock the boat on that today. So now that we have all these downloaded, we're going to go ahead and upgrade our kernel in the terminal. Okay, so let's go ahead and start our terminal. Uh, the shortcut key for that is Control-Alt-T, or you can just open up your Applications menu and type Terminal. Um, from here, it'll launch into here, and we first want to check to make sure uh, what kernel we're running. So uname-sr, and you'll see that we're running 4.15, so base kernel that comes with Ubuntu 18.04. So uh, go to your downloads folder or a separate folder if you put it in there. And I always do a long listing first just to make sure all my packages are what I downloaded. And I make sure that also I didn't do like a misclick and have another one. If you're using your downloads folder, be very careful when running this command because if you have any old uh, packages in here, it will install those as well. So you don't wanna do a double install. However, looking at this, all our packages are here and we can proceed with our install. So we're gonna go sudo dpkg i asterisk db. And from here, it's gonna go ahead and install these modules. Okay, so now our 4.19 kernel is installed. If we go uname-sr, 
it has not taken effect until we do a reboot. Okay, we have successfully rebooted. It looked like uh, everything took okay. And if we look, we are now on 4.19.6. So I have successfully upgraded the kernel and everything seems to be running okay. So uh, I'm curious to see what happens from now as far as if it fixed my stuttering issue I was having with my video, if I have any performance. So I may go ahead and push out another update after this, but this video, um, was mainly just over going ahead and getting that kernel updated because many of you out there I know if you have a brand new laptop and they release uh, Wi-Fi drivers a lot of times they bake those directly into the kernel driver or uh, let's say you have a video card like mine that just now got support and like 4.19 you probably want to go ahead and push an out up update with your kernel without actually reinstalling an entire distribution on here and upgrading it to like 18.10 or something like that. You probably don't want to do that. Um, and this was a pretty simplistic process, I thought. And overall, I'd highly recommend it actually because it didn't look like there's any danger because if this failed, you can always go to advanced options and boot into your old kernel um, before this happens. So, I, I mean, hey, if you're having any kind of hardware issue, I highly recommend just going ahead and manually updating the kernel. Um, I did read in, online that, hey, if you're on Linux Mint, um, since Linux Mint is heavily based off of the Ubuntu kernel, um, you also would pull from the same repository and update your system. But that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know below and I'll get back to you. And if you liked it, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more tech videos, please hit the subscribe button and check me out on my website, chrystitus.com.